This is James from Gamefront with a Far Cry 3 PC Tweak Guide. This video is going to show you how to disable the ambient occlusion, which will improve your performance at the cost of enhanced shading visuals. You only need to do this if you're running Far Cry 3 using DirectX 11, because you can't disable it via the in-game settings. The first thing you need to do is open up Windows Explorer, and then go to My Documents, and then My Games, Far Cry 3, and then right-click on Gamer Profile and open it with Notepad. Once this is opened, you're going to hit Control F and search for SSAO. What that stands for, I don't know. I just do this. I learned it on GameFront.com, the web page. Uh, and right now I have it set as 6. I think it goes higher than that, but that's what I usually run it at. So I'm putting it as 0, which completely disables the ambient occlusion. Uh, I don't know what SS stands for, but I think ambient occlusion is the AO in that. Um, so now that that's done, we're going to save it and quit out and go into the game. Now, I'm not going to talk through this whole thing. I know you want to hear me, but I'm not going to. Here's a little breakdown. The top half of the screen is with ambient occlusion on, and the bottom half is with it off. Some of this is going to be in real time, and some of it's going to be sped up at different variations so you can see the shadow passing. Now, I want to point out that on the top, I think that the water reflections uh, look, I'd say, a little bit better. I, I don't know. They look different. To me, I think both sides look good. So if you're having a performance issue with your PC, I think this is a no-brainer to turn off the ambient occlusion. Um, if you're not having any problems and you got a super ultra computer, then hooray for you. I hope you're, you're proud of yourself because I'm proud of you. Um, yeah. So... The time will pass. There's some variations. I've set my, my controller to be looking at the exact same thing on both screen, and the time of day is exact same also. The only variation will be the different random world things, like the, the animal up on top that is, uh, I guess, enjoying a meal. There was a deer there. And on the bottom, I've, I've been seeing a shark go around, or maybe it's the top. I don't remember. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Now I know I promised I wouldn't talk, but there are a few things in my life that I enjoy as much as the sound of my voice. And when I go back and watch this myself, I'm really hoping to enjoy my voice on there. Did you think I went away? No, I'm still here. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the actor Edward Burns, but he's apparently in the movie Brothers McMullen. I have a lot of people tell me that I sound like Ed Burns. I've had it on the phone. Oh, it's going fast now so you can see the shadows passing. Uh, and I've also, obviously, on the internet, if you've watched enough of my videos, I've had a lot of people tell me I sound like Saul Goodman who is uh, from Breaking Bad, but I, I better know him from Mr. Show. And good lord, I can't believe that, uh, that I've been compared to him. He's kind of a hero of mine. But I've always thought I sounded a lot like Morgan Freeman. And I, I, I don't know, maybe there are some similarities there. Mitch is laughing in the background. I think he's laughing because it's so true. So, uh, those of you that don't like the sound of my voice, I assume you've hit the mute button. If you can't find it, there's a picture of a speaker on the YouTube video. You put your mouse button, your mouse uh, indicator, which is arrow-shaped. Oh, it's over. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>